April 10th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 21 and 22 from the Old Testament. O Lord, the King rejoices in the strength you give. He takes great delight in the deliverance you provide. You grant him his heart's desire. You do not refuse his request. Selah. For you bring him rich blessings. You place a golden crown on his head. He asks you to sustain his life, and you have granted him long life and an enduring dynasty. Your deliverance brings him great honor. You give him majestic splendor. For you grant him lasting blessings. You give him great joy by allowing him into your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord, and because of the sovereign Lord's faithfulness, he is not upended. You prevail over all your enemies. Your power is too great for those who hate you. You burn them up like a fiery furnace when you appear. The Lord angrily devours them. The fire consumes them. You destroy their offspring from the earth, their descendants from among the human race. Yes, they intend to do you harm. They dream up a scheme, but they do not succeed. For you make them retreat when you shoot your arrows at them. Rise up, O Lord, in strength. We will sing and praise your power. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? I groan in prayer, but help seems far away. My God, I cry out during the day, but you do not answer. And during the night, my prayers do not let up. You are holy. You sit as king receiving the praises of Israel. In you, our ancestors trusted. They trusted in you, and you rescued them. To you, they cried out, and they were saved. In you, they trusted, and they were not disappointed. But I am a worm, not a man. People insult me and despise me. All who see me taunt me. They mock me and shake their heads. They say, Commit yourself to the Lord. Let the Lord rescue him. Let the Lord deliver him, for he delights in him. Yes, you are the one who brought me out from the womb and made me feel secure on my mother's breast. I have been dependent on you since birth. From the time I came out of my mother's womb, you have been my God. Do not remain far away from me, for trouble is near and I have no one to help me. Many bulls surround me, powerful bulls of Bashan hem me in. They open their mouths to devour me like a roaring lion that rips his prey. My strength drains away like water. All my bones are dislocated. My heart is like wax, it melts away inside me. The roof of my mouth is as dry as a piece of pottery. My tongue sticks to my gums, you set me in the dust of death. Yes, wild dogs surround me, a gang of evil men crowd around me. Like a lion, they pin my hands and feet. I can count all my bones. My enemies are gloating over me in triumph. They are dividing up my clothes among themselves. They are rolling dice for my garments. But you, O Lord, do not remain far away. You are my source of strength. Hurry and help me. Deliver me from the sword. Save my life from the claws of the wild dogs. Rescue me from the mouth of the lion and from the horns of the wild oxen. You have answered me. I will declare your name to my countrymen. In the middle of the assembly, I will praise you. You loyal followers of the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, honor him. All you descendants of Israel, stand in awe of him. For he did not despise or detest the suffering of the oppressed. He did not ignore him. When he cried out to him, he responded, You are the reason I offer praise in the great assembly. I will fulfill my promises before the Lord's loyal followers. Let the oppressed eat and be filled. Let those who seek his help praise the Lord. May you live forever. Let all the people of the earth acknowledge the Lord and turn to him. Let all the nations worship you. For the Lord is king and rules over the nations. All of the thriving people of the earth will join the celebration and worship. All those who are descending into the grave will bow before him, including those who cannot preserve their lives. 
a whole generation will serve him. They will tell the next generation about the Sovereign Lord. They will come and tell about his saving deeds. They will tell a future generation what he has accomplished. God, you and I both know what Psalm 22 means to me. If I open my Bible to Psalm 22, there is a suicide note in there that I wrote. Battling with depression as a fabulous side effect of having the disease Hashimoto's has been incredibly difficult. For anybody who knows me, God, you made me pink and sparkly. I love life. I am not only is the glass half full, but it's overflowing type of person. And so to f have feelings of despair, and being overwhelmed, and not being able to breathe, are so incredibly foreign to me that I have no idea what to do with them. Grief and despair and death wash over me. Everything in my life becomes very dark. I can't move. In Psalm 22, where it's talking about being surrounded by lions or evil men, I'm there in the middle honestly feeling that there's no way out of course I have people I can call but at that moment I don't even think about that of course at that moment I have you and obviously I'm still here and in that moment I did think of you Psalm 22, many theologians talk about how this is the foretelling of your son dying on the cross. And there's so many parts of it that point directly to what you did for me. And I am not going to let your son's death be in vain and let death win in my life. At the end of Psalm 22, where you talk about a whole generation will serve him. They will tell the next generation about the sovereign Lord. They will come and tell about his saving deeds. They will tell a future generation what he has accomplished. And I know no matter what disease I have or what, or what interesting situations come into my life, I know that at any second you could take me up to heaven and live with you there, but you have chosen not to do that yet. Because I'm still the person that's going to tell the next generation. I am the person who's going to tell other people about how you're my sovereign Lord. You are the person that I am going to tell future generations about with all you have accomplished in my life including saving me from the edge of death. You have brought me back from that spot more times than I care to remember. It is such a scary place to be, God. Even with you, it's a very scary place to be. But I do trust in your sovereignty. I do trust that you are in full control of the entire world. And if you still have me here, it is for a reason. You created me for a purpose. You created me as your child. And this child obviously isn't done with their purpose. God, I pray for all people who are listening to this now. All of us at some time in our life have felt that we were standing on that very, very edge. 
so close to death, so ready to give up, so done with this world. God, I just pray for everyone who's feeling that way right now that you remind them that they have a purpose. Yes, you could end that specific suffering right now and take them up to heaven, but you choose not to and you choose not to because you love them. Remind them of that today. That if they don't think anybody else loves them, remember that you do. Fill their heart with that. Because I know right now that that heart that they have is empty and it's black and it's filled with pain that feels like it will never go away. God, bring them back into the light. Remind them that they are here with intention and purpose. That before everything else in this entire world was created, you sat down and created them and called them by name. You actually created something and said, this will be Janelle. And she will be my child and she has a purpose in this world. And when she's done with what I have created her to do, then I will bring her up to heaven to live forever with me. Remind them of that if they are standing on the edge today, God. You fill me with so much love. You bring so much grace and so much mercy into my life. You have created such an amazing path for me to follow. On the left and the right are all sorts of horrid things and you have kept me on that path. That path of light with you that is filled with love. Remind them of that path, God. Remind them that you are in control, not the world that is beating in on them. This world that is trying to tell them that they are worthless. Yet as your children, we are worth everything to you. We were worth everything to you in order for you to give up your only son for us. That's how much our lives are worth to you. God, I just pray for everyone today that their hearts will be filled with love, that the pain is removed or is at least dull enough for them to go one more day, one more hour, one more minute so that they can see enough of the plan to move forward in faith. God, thank you for the purpose that you have given me here on earth. I know some of it, I don't know all of it, but I know I am here today because of you and only because of you, and I don't want the world to take that away. I don't want the side effects of a disease to take that away. I want to fulfill whatever the purpose was for you creating me. I want to do that. Please help me, God. Help me fulfill that purpose. In your son's name we pray. Amen.